Hello and welcome to my channel and if you joined for the first time thank you for joining in I've made this really cute bunny and I'm going to show you how I made this in this video and uh, I've covered it with wool and I'm going to show you step by step and it's really small and really cute and a fun project to do and as you can see it's not very difficult it's just a bit time consuming as needle halting is so I've started off with the corydale sliver and uh, I'm roll, rolling it into a small ball and I'm starting with the head of the penny so as I've started off I'm marking where the eyes and the nose are going to sit so if you do it right in the beginning it's easier to build up on that so I'm gonna add more wool and keep shaping it so it becomes easier this way so I know exactly where the eyes are gonna sit and now I'm adding more wool to the little cheeks you can say right into the nose and the cheeks so like this I'm going to keep adding wool until I'm happy with the shape as you can see I've got the holes where the eyes are going to be and the nose is quite prominent so I'm building up on the cheeks and then I'm going to build more on the head so it has to be nice and firm using my multi-tool and multi-tools are really handy they speed up the process so much I'm really happy with my multi-tools so this is the chlorophyll, the pink one, and uh, other needles I've got from Heidi Feathers, and the needle holder as well. As I've got really thick-ended uh, eyes, I got them from my crochets, so I didn't want to waste them. So I have to make a hole with the scissor where the eyes are going to be placed. As you can see, the the nose is kind of a triangle shape, and it uh, sits a bit below the eyes. And um, well, you can make the shape as you want, and you can keep a reference picture in front so you know how it looks. But this is the basic shape of a bunny. Now I've moved on to make uh, the body and just felting down uh, into a cylindrical shape and I want the bunny to be a bit rounded from the abdominal area so I'm gonna add more wool to that part so it looks like a teddy bear or looks really cute so I'm just shaping the the body of the bunny and I'm going to stick the head to it before moving on so my camera has gone off the focus so I'm attaching the head so I know exactly how big I want the body to be so how much I have to build upon that so once the head is attached I can know now I'm adding I'm making the limbs so these are going to be the arms I'm just rolling some wool and seeing how big I want them and then I'm going to first fell down the edge I'm going to make it round so once one edge is rounded the other end is going to be felt to the body so it's okay to be fluffy you have to leave one end fluffy anyways to attach it to the body so once the arms are done I'm making little thighs and uh, just roll some wool and giving it a 
a rounded shape and just measuring it out on the bodies how big I want it to be because you have to keep in mind that it's going to be covered with yarn so it doesn't have to be really big because if I make the basic body a bit too big after the yarn is attached to it it's going to be even bigger for the little foot I'm using a piece of wool and uh, I'm felting it in an oval shape just big enough to sit with the thigh and once I've got a little heel shaped out I'm doing the toes and I'm cutting the toes with the scissor and then I'm going to round them with my needle so you have to keep felting it until the toes are really nice and neat and they're nice and firmly felted and then this part is going to be attached to the thigh so I'm making the other one and both have to be of the same size and shape and then the little feet to go with it and I'm going to attach them once in the whole bunny is like forming its shape because you have to cover it all in um, in yarn I have to be careful which parts to attach to the body first and then start off so I think I'm going to start off with uh, covering the bunny first as you can see I'm making little tiny toes and I'm doing them both together so they are around the same size and shape So I've got all the parts ready now besides the ears I'm adding white merino wool just underneath the black plastic eye that I've put in so this can be the white part and that can look like the eyeball looking up so I'm just filling it with white wool and cutting off the excess and now I'm adding a brown shade right above so it forms a kind of an eyelid and also gives it a little bit of depth Now I'm attaching the yarn. I've got a fluffy yarn. It's called Snuggly and uh, the shade is called Bunny. So it's really easy to attach with the felting needle. Because it's fluffy, it uh, makes things easier. And you just have to straighten it out and be careful that you attach it from the bottom because the fluff remains on top so you have to keep straightening it out and this is the, the part that takes a lot of time but still takes lesser time than the fur I think and it makes it look neater as well so you can go in circles or you can go randomly whatever suits you for the mouth I'm adding uh, eggshell merino wool the shade is called eggshell so this is going to form the little part right underneath the nose and besides the mouth and the cheeks And 
um, giving shape to the nose and mouth using a dark brown wool and this is the little mouth I just felt it out of the eggshell wool it's just a little shape so you don't need to really felt it down using the core wool so you can use the direct color that you're using now I'm using a dark brown line just giving it a line right above the the eyeball the black plastic eyes just to make it a bit more prominent and make it look cuter then I'm going to continue attaching more yarn to it and you have to be careful because uh, you have to attach the ears as well so leave a space for that don't cover the whole head before you do the ears and for the little hands I'm attaching the yarn on the edges going around because they're so small they turn really easily now I don't know how to stitch clothes but I'm going to figure out a way to make a little coat I'm using a felt sheet and I've just measured how much I want it going around the body of the little bunny so just want around two to three centimeters of it I'm going to cut a bit more than that and measure it out how much I want around so it's 14 centimeter and 4 centimeter of the width so 14 centimeter will go around the body and 4 is the width and this way it's going to go around and uh, cover the length as well but uh, I made it out of paper first so I don't waste the sheet and I'm going to just trace out how much I want and cut it out so I'm just going to fold in where you can see it's going to form the collar and on the arms just need a little strip that goes around the arms and either you can stitch them or glue them on so I'm just putting in some pins to see how it's all gonna sit together and I think the head needs a bit more wool it seemed kind of flat so even at this stage because you can see the wool is kind of very forgiving and you can change things so at this point I realized that the head was quite flat so I'm adding more wool just under the area where I had attached the yarn so I'm just going around it For the little tiny arms I've put I just felted it down so I'm now going to put glue and secure it I was uh, putting some gesso that's why I've got that on my fingers so sometimes I'm doing multiple projects at the same time so, as you can see the little fluff is coming out uh, that seems like the little tiny hands I'm placing everything with pins and it makes it easier to attach this way as you can see now it needs a little bit more body because when you put the coat on and the thighs the 
bunny lips really short so i've added more wool to make it a bit longer or taller you can say so now this the thigh sit properly with that so i've attached more wool to the tummy and below that and given it a round shape so now i'm thinking if i should cover it with yarn first or attach it i think it's better to attach it first so in that confusion i've just left it and uh, i'm going to make the ears and for the ears as i have to cover it with yarn if i felt it down they're going to be really really thick so again i'm using a felt sheet and i've traced out shape of the ears and now i'm going to attach the yarn to it and just cover it up and you can always measure it with your bunny how big you want the ears to be this was fun thing to do testing the yarn to the ears and on the other end I'm just going around the edges and then I'm going to fill the middle part with a light pink color so the other end is covered with yarn and this end I'm putting some light pink wool and felting it down and as you felt it down it becomes thick and rounded so they become really nice ear shapes so once I've got the two ears I'm going to attach them first I'm attaching the yarn to the front of the body that's going to show from underneath the jacket just to give a little detailing to the jacket I've got my embroidery needle and thread and I'm just going to give it a little stitch right across so this is a little bit of detailing and uh, if you want you can make more designs on it on the jacket so I'm just making one line of stitches that's going to be around the collar Once the line is done, I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to stitch it on using a blue thread. You can glue it down or felt it but I think it's going to be more secure with the thread and a needle. So I'm just stitching it down right underneath the fold of the collar so it stays in place. and makes it really nice and secure and now I'm going to attach the arms to it right underneath the fold of the collar so it doesn't show let's put the pins on first and then I've placed the arm at an angle and gone around it with my needle You have to really go around it because it's the felt sheet and the wool that you want to be securely attached and it doesn't pull off so you have to spend time and really attach it all around so go around the armhole 
there is no hole but supposedly just go around the arm and now the thighs now the thighs and the little feet and I'm placing them with the pins and now I'm felting it down so once you've got it in place it's easier to go around with your needle and attach the shapes so as you can see the feet are attached to the edges of the little round shapes that I made as thighs and now I'm going to cover with the yarn and that's going to make it more secure and more attached so I'm going around with my yarn and just above the feet as well right and around the little tiny toes so you have to get into the details now the tiny feet look really nice and cute and I'm um, giving them a little pink color I've mixed the pink with a little bit of eggshell so it becomes lighter pink And I'm making the toes a bit more rounded as you can see because the pink part is going to be seen and it can make them more prominent and it's always good to keep watching videos because you get you learn a thing or two from every video that you see because everybody has their own style of doing the needle felting there's no right way or wrong way it's just how you do it and I appreciate everybody who watches my videos and helping my channel grow and that's how you get encouragement to do more projects Now I'm going to attach the ears. We can place them with the pins first. I'm putting on a little brown wooden button that I had with some blue thread. And with this, with the needle that I'm stitching, I'm pulling the two ends of the jacket together as well. So it looks more neater. And now the little patch that's left has to be filled with the yarn so every piece takes time and patience and it's really enjoyable to create just brushing it up making a bit it a bit more fluffy the pins were still attached so I just removed them this is the bunny completed and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching please share like and subscribe for me to show you more thank you